welcome to this info video tutorial. In this video tutorial we want to show how to extract type points and measure control points. First of all we want to clean up our project for file so we say project, project edit. We will go to our photos frames and we will look here for the heights and we see here that we have images that are flown on a lower height and photos that are flown on a higher height of 1500 and these 1500 photos these ones are the fly uh, the strips going north uh, south we will remove them and um, we will still uh, accept this and say yes okay then we go to the strips and we see we have three undefined strips and we will remove these strips we say okay we save the project and we will close it and we see now we have only the east-west uh, projects here uh, sorry the east-west images in our project we will start now the georeferencing part with the area frame triangulation where we want to extract the type points. We want to uh, generate a default CNT file, so we say yes, and we keep the default setting of 5 at the beginning. Then we select from the drop down menu the automatic type point extraction. We go to the edit button. We will use the GNSS data. We don't we haven't measured any control points, so at this moment we will not do any drift and shift corrections. We will not use the IMU data from our data, we will not do any self-calibration. So we continue with the strategy where we select the default 4x4 pattern and we will start at permit level 5 and end up at permit level 0. All the remaining settings um, will not be changed. We have not measured any control points, so uh, the standard deviations for object points has no impact. We have the GNSS data, which will be introduced with 10 cm, and that's it. So we say close, and we run the type point extraction. We will use the complete block, we say yes and the type point extraction starts and we will see here some online values but you can leave the computer and come back when it's finished. Let's make a short check after the type point extraction finished. We will uh, see the log file that opened up automatically. Let's scroll down to permit level 0, click here on this entry take a look if we have observations for each photo which should be something around 100 to 200. We should have a sigma value that is somewhere um, at a third to a fifth pixel of our 6 microns, so something around 2 microns or 1.5 microns. Uh, check if we have uh, points that are connecting more than 4 photos, so that we have 5 times, 6 times and 7 times connected points. And uh, that's for the first thing, what we want to check here for the log file. Secondly, after we close here these windows, we will not keep the temporary folders. Uh, let's go to the multi photo measurement tool. After the photo measurement tool opened up, we want to do uh, two quick checks. We want to look here at the display top of viewer and change the stamp size here to large. Uh, scroll here on the upper left part so that we can see two strips at one moment and we should see that each photo has tie points equally distributed over the photo so in the upper left corner, upper right, lower right, lower left, in the left, right, upper and lower side and we can then here sc uh, scroll through it, check if we have photos that are missing tie points if we see that there are everywhere tie points existing. We can also take a look here at the... if we scroll out, if each of the photos has here a star inside the flag. 
or in this marker and um, we can just check also with the properties where we can look here for the uh, joint analysis photos and see if this uh, blue shaded area is covering the complete project area or if there's somehow a gap showing like an island inside this area. So all the photos were part of the type point extraction which is nice so we have connections between all the photos uh, going through all these analysis parts will be part of the training, of the basic training you can order at our sales uh, group. We want now to measure the control points. Therefore we open on the left side the point tab. We can sort here for types or we can use here as a filter to only look at ground control points and type points. We can double click here these headers and on one click and so we will uh, minimize them and we want to measure our control points. Uh, CHV means checkpoint horizontal vertical, HV means control point horizontal vertical. To measure a control point we double click him and the multi aerial tab opens up. We can zoom in 1 to 1 or 2 to 1 or 4 to 1 to measure the control point. To measure we select here the measure function which you can also choose here from edit measure. We can zoom in with the scroll wheel from the mouse in one single image when the mouse is inside the window. If I go to this one I can also here zoom in this part in and out. If I want to see a larger content for one, I can here use the lower right button to maximize this one single image or in this case going back to minimizing it again to the previous size. The measurement is done by just clicking into the window wherever I place my measurement I get this blue cross. The white triangle is my calculated new position. In our case here uh, this um, white panel here on the bottom right side is the position I want to measure. As soon as we measure two images we see that our white triangle is repositioned and we can now use an um, automatic tool. I can right click here and say I want to uh, complement the remaining photos. So at the moment we have one, two, three, four, five, six photos where the control point is assumed to be part of it. If we say complement then the images uh, 57, 58, 67 and 68 will be complemented so they will be added as measurements so they will also get a blue cross. If I use complement and refine then only the one window where I click here this function will stay as it is the previous measurement will be refined so it will use this template and place a new position here and also the other ones will be complemented and refined. So I use complement and refine and then this position here will be used for the other ones and we can also use a different template. I can click here on this one here complement and refine and then we see how these changes are applied to the other ones. And we can look at the positions, each individual one, and uh, we can use here the green arrow to move to the remaining two positions. We see it's wrong positioned here, here it's correct, mainly because the template here is not including the car and so we can measure manually here this final position again. If we go to our uh, point, uh, sorry, to our point image points. Then we can see here on the right side the mode. So LSM means least square measurement which is the automatic tool. Manual MAN means manual. So we see six, measure, uh, six predictions. So we predict it's in six photos and we measured it in six photos. So each one of the predictions was able to be measured and they are existing in three different strips. And so we can continue to measure the remaining control points. We double click them. 
we see here this is on this zigzag part as soon as we measure more than one we can here have a template complement this part we see it worked fine except for the last one we can still check if we want and look at the remaining ones how they are positioned and we see here it's not working so we can measure manually here this position and so we measure all the control points in this part here it's the inner part of this triangle we check if it's possible we see it was working fine with the automatic tool we can still double check and see if the position position is fine which is the case in our case here it's the outer right panel part complement it check the remaining one continue with the next one this one will fail because the car looks differently in different parts but still we try complement it and we see it has difficulties now with the car even the first one completely fails so we can here add we see also that the image at some point has really a very strange behavior if we say we don't want to use this measurement we right click the photo and we say remove this single image coordinate and then this one measurement is taken away if we say clear image coordinates then all my measurements are taken away and therefore we can then remeasure our points here and finish it up and measure this part here in my case I only have now four links therefore this control point is yellow showing that not all the predictions were able to be measured final one we have here this panel and as there is a strong shadow I will not use here the automatic tool and just keep the measurements here if we zoom to the complete project again we see our five control points are or sorry six control points uh, one in the upper left corner, one in the upper right, one in the lower right, one in the lower left and we have two control points in the center just to see how they behave. It would make sense of course to measure all the checkpoints because then in the log file we could then see how they behave. Uh, I will do this for uh, my control point 2 to 14, this one here. Uh, I will change this one to become a checkpoint and uh, this can be done here in the type so I can select here 214 and change this one to a check horizontal vertical save it and then we are done this is the this is the main uh, behavior how to measure uh, control points you could also measure tie points to measure tie points you would need to enter a unique ID for your tie point uh, which is not existing as a standard point created from the automatic algorithm um, so you can take a specific pattern and then you click here with the measure tool somewhere in your block and then this uh, tie point is placed uh, I should have in this case of course not used a filter and um, with this tie point that I have here I can now click it or double click it sorry see its preposition and then I can now start to do in the standard way to measure it uh, I could measure for example now here a specific structure uh, perhaps the lower left corner of this building everywhere would be a, an option if I measure two of them then it's pre uh, calculated and I can use here calculated rain intersection and then it places my remaining positions very close already to this part and then I could here either use through the manual measurement parts or the automatic tools to measure this point. This is how you can then fix areas where you have weak tie point positions. I will delete this tie point here uh, by right clicking here clear image coordinates and save my project exit here go to the aerial frame triangulation 
and now I want to rerun the uh, adjustment but because I have good type points already I don't need to automatically extract type points again I can just run a post process in case I made some mistakes with the control points I use uh, at the first time definitely the blunder detection and we can now use here again our GPS but we will now use a global shift for the complete block in case our GNSS has perhaps some trouble and then we can here use now our default standard deviations with three meter in uh, sorry with three centimeter in planimetric and ten in height our GPS we keep with ten centimeter and then we can run the post process this is a very fast process because we are only in paraphrases adjusting the result and we can now here uh, see that the post process is added to our log file so we still see our previous uh, log informations and then we see our post processing information uh, if we have multiple post processes they would be added and added only if you do a new type point extraction then we clean up the log file and start from the beginning so we can run and jump to the post process and then we could analyze our results which is not part here of this uh, introduction to the demo data but of course part of our basic training for match 18. So thank you very much for watching this video tutorial and have fun. Goodbye.